War II era ammunition plant is making Wisconsin the new frontier for space exploration. NBC 15 Sonica Bargo visited the former plant today to get a taste of rocket science in action. John and Lee, the Badger Army ammunition plant has come a long way since its World War II days. $20 million and several years later, the Sierra Nevada Corporation has transformed it into a high-tech rocket engine testing site. <laughs> Southern Wisconsin is now a hub for space technology thanks to a new rocket testing site. Bringing rocket science to Wisconsin on a daily basis and making it a business in Wisconsin. In 2014, the Sierra Nevada Corporation bought Madison-based aerospace company Orbitech and transformed the former Badger Army ammunition plant in North Freedom. It was all asbestos and we had to do the whole cleanup, so it improved uh, the environment, improved the land, improved everything. Now it's a test site for their Vortex rocket engines. It's amazing that the Vortex technology, you guys, help to develop here, it is a game changer. On Wednesday, a small group got to see one of those rocket tests in action. I'm proud to champion the investments that will continue to spur innovation, boost manufacturing, and promote good paying jobs. Some of the engines at the site will power SNC's Dream Chaser, a space plane that will carry cargo to the International Space Station for NASA, starting in spring 2021. Rocket science in Wisconsin is actually happening. SNC is also working on other space-related projects in Wisconsin. Some are already on the International Space Station, including a way to grow food in zero gravity. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, NBC 15 News.